If you've ever shut down your computer or restarted Windows, you know it can feel somewhat time-consuming to get back in. Everything has to relaunch. Typically, you arrive at a locked screen where you need to select your user account, type in your password, and then finally, you arrive here ready to start using Windows 10. Well, if you feel like you're in a secure enough environment and you're the only one using the computer, you can bypass all of that, and I'm going to show you how now. First, you'll go down to the search field here, just click inside and type in run, R-U-N. You can see the desktop app labeled run right at the top, give it a click. And next in the open field, you're going to type in the following, N-E-T-P-L-W-I-Z. You can type over anything that might be there already, or if it's your first time, it's an empty field. Just type that in and click OK. And it's going to launch the user accounts window. Now with the Users tab selected, you'll see a list of users. For me, looking at this list, I probably wouldn't want to disable the need for a username and password to get in. However, if you're the only user and your computer is in an area that you might consider safe, all you have to do is select your account and go up to the checkbox and disable Users Must Enter a Username and Password to use this computer. Now when you click OK, because you've selected your account, you'll be prompted for your password. You'll need to type it in twice because you don't see what you're typing. So once you type it in the password field, you can hit the tab key to move to confirm password or just click in the field and type it in exactly the same way again to ensure you typed what you thought you were typing and click OK. So going forward, if I was to restart Windows or shut down my PC and get back in, I'll bypass that login screen and arrive here by default. At any time, you can go back and change it if you think you're going to be sharing a computer with others or if you feel like your computer's not in a safe location. Just go back, type in run to get to the run app. And when you select it, the last command you typed in is already there. Here it is, N-E-T-P-L-W-I-Z. When you click OK, all you have to do is go up here to the Users Must Enter checkbox and reselect it. And when you click OK, going forward, you will have to enter your user account as well as your password to get in.